Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a peek at a budget projector and just see how well it performs playing retro games. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider going down below the video and subscribing while we work our way towards 30,000 subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated. Now, moving full force into this review video, I was sent out a projector by GymTab, and I was a little bit skeptical because I've gotten my hands on budget projectors in the past, and for the most part, they were pretty poor quality, and I wasn't really impressed with them. So, when I did agree to take this on, I was expecting to not really be wooed by anything, but I actually gotta say, this is a fairly nice unit. Now, this is the GymTab M18 projector model, and this is going to retail for about $225 on Amazon. Now this projector is a full HD 1080p LED video projector. It's got quite a few options for inputs and things like that, and I'm going to talk about those when I get it out of the box, but I do want to say that this actually is a fairly decent projector that can display retro gaming consoles actually pretty good, and it actually makes it a very ideal projector if you're going to be doing some retro gaming. Now this thing can actually support up to a 300 inch display, and I mean, I don't have a display quite that large, so I wasn't able to test it out on the maximum display size, but I did get a pretty good idea of how well it works using it on different screens and walls that I have in my house. Now taking a look at everything that we get inside of the box, you're gonna notice that we do get a quick start or instruction manual, and it is pretty detailed. It gives you all the information about how to navigate the menus, what kind of features are available, and things like that. Next, we're gonna get a fairly basic remote control. And one thing I actually like about this remote is that it does have glow in the dark buttons. And I know that's not really a big deal, but if the idea is to use this projector at nighttime, outdoors, or just in general inside of a home theater, it's gonna be pretty dark. So having those buttons that glow are actually pretty helpful. We are of course going to get a power cord. We're also going to get an HDMI cable. And then the last thing that we get in the box is an AV cable. So this is actually going to be something that we're gonna use because I want to connect some retro games, Super Nintendo, N64, and then I am gonna show you guys the PlayStation Classic as well, just to also show you guys how well it works with HDMI. Now the actual device is pretty nice in terms of its visual aesthetics. We've got a metal plastic combination for the exterior. And when you look at the metal coating that they have on the one side of the device, it's actually almost like a brushed or stainless steel type of metal finish. And it actually looks really high end. I definitely think they did a good job here in terms of how it looks. Now, taking a look at the back of the device, you're gonna see all of our inputs and outputs. The first thing that we're gonna notice on the far left-hand side is a VGA input, so that's perfect if you wanna connect this up to a computer for presentations, but it actually starts to get a little bit more interesting along the way. Now, the next thing that we're gonna see is an IR sensor. There is an IR sensor on the front, and I'll show you guys that when we get to there, but it is nice that this sensor is here, both on the front and on the back, so it doesn't really matter where the projector is, if it's in front or behind you, you shouldn't have any issues controlling it with the remote control. Next, we're gonna have two USB ports, and it's important to talk about this because this is actually really neat that they've included this. The first USB port on the top, which is labeled U, is gonna be what you would use if you wanted to plug in a USB drive that had images or video files or things like that. The one that's below it is actually labeled 5V, and what that's telling us is that is a five volt USB drive. So this is actually really handy if we want to plug a Raspberry Pi into this, or any of our classic consoles, Super Nintendo Classic, PlayStation Classic, things like that. That will all be self-powered by this USB drive, and it makes it a little bit easier when you are actually taking this out and about, or if you're gonna use this as a portable device. And then next to that, we have two independent HDMI inputs. And then below that, the M18 projector is actually equipped with a five watt stereo speaker. And I was a little bit concerned when I read that it was only five watts, but it does put out analog 3D stereo sound and it does support Dolby Digital. And I should mention that after I did get it connected, the sound was actually pretty loud and very substantial for this little speaker. And then if we take a peek at the sides, on the right hand side there's really nothing to look at, no inputs, no outputs, no buttons. But on the left hand side we actually do have a couple more inputs. So the first one is for an SD card, and then we actually have the AV input, which is what we're going to use for some of our retro consoles. 
and we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And taking a peek at the front, the first thing that I'm gonna point out is the previously mentioned IR sensor. And then along the bottom, you're gonna notice that there is a leg. This is just one of those simple twistable, adjustable legs. This just helps you adjust the height or the angle in which you are displaying. And it is neat because this device does have a 15 degree keystone adjustment. So that way you can make sure that your picture is actually square even when the projector is not. And then finally we have our lens here and it does come with a lens cover, so that's nice. Whenever you're not using it, you're gonna wanna make sure that that lens is protected. Now looking back at the top of the device, this is where we've got the majority of our settings and our buttons. So along the top right hand side of things, we're gonna have our focus dial and we're also gonna have our keystone dial. Then on the bottom of the left hand side, we have all of our buttons. So we've got our navigation up, down, left, right. We've got an OK button. We've got a play button. We've got a source button. And then we have both our menu and power buttons. Now, like I said, for this video, my focus is gonna be on retro gaming. But keep in mind that this device actually has a pretty decent FPS and you could use it for some high-end games. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing set up and show you guys some of the picture quality that you're going to get. Now do keep in mind I'm just using a simple white tarp that I've got hanging from the ceiling. So if you guys notice that the display is a little bit wavy, that's just the backdrop that I have. And if you have a proper screen or if you're displaying this on any sort of a flat surface, you won't notice that. Before we get started, I do wanna show you guys just the input sources as well as the options that you've got in terms of picture adjustments and volume adjustments and things like that. So obviously if you hit the input button, it's gonna display all of your inputs and all you gotta do is navigate to the one that you want and hit okay and it'll switch to that input. Next, if we go into our menu options, we've got things like picture mode, color temperature, we've got aspect ratio, and the aspect ratio is actually really cool because you can set this to both a 16 by nine aspect ratio, or if you are doing some retro gaming, you can set it to a four by three aspect ratio. And then there's other things like noise reduction. You can adjust it to display on specific screen styles. And then you've also got things like the projector direction. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get some gaming started. I'm gonna first connect up my Super Nintendo and we're gonna jump into some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and then also some Super Mario World. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and take a peek at some N64, and then I thought for this, what would be a good game to display is Jet Force Gemini. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is connecting in my PlayStation Classic. So this is actually gonna be connected in via HDMI and I'm actually using the five volt power source on the back of the projector in order to power the PlayStation Classic. So that's actually really nice. There's no additional power required other than that little port. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into some Metal Gear Solid and then we're gonna wrap up the video. But that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if a projector is something that you guys have ever been tempted to pick up. Do you guys have a space or a backyard where you could set up a projector? Let me know down below and let me know what you guys think of this one. I actually do recommend it at 225 bucks and I think most people would be really happy with the quality. But that's all I've got for you. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.